Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and today I'm going to show you SiteGround's new WordPress starter feature. SiteGround is committed to making WordPress sites easier to build, and so to make that process as seamless as possible, they developed the WordPress starter, a plugin that walks you through a curated number of themes and the most common site features. The plugin will help you have a fully functional WordPress site right out of the box. So let's get started. You can see here that I am in my personal SiteGround panel. If you haven't gotten SiteGround hosting yet and you want to, you can get a special offer over at casabona.org slash go slash SiteGround. I will link that in the description, but you will be able to get their best hosting prices at a special rate starting at $3.95 per month. So once we are in the SiteGround panel, I'm going to go over to cPanel, which is SiteGround's control panel. And from here, I'm going to go to the WordPress auto installer. It should be relatively close to the top, but in case it's not, you could always use the search bar on the left-hand side to quickly get it. So here, I'm going to choose to install WordPress. I'm going to choose the protocol, SiteGround by default sets your protocol to HTTPS. Uh, it will also automatically install a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for you so your website will be secure right out of the box. Next, I'm going to choose the domain. For this domain, I'm going to set up WordPress for my parent company, my LLC, goodhousemedia.com. I don't have an actual website for that yet, so it'll be good to set a site up for that. Then I'll go through the rest of the setup process. We'll do Good House Media. All right, so we have our admin username and password, which uh, I will promptly change at the end of this video. We'll select our plugins. We won't choose the theme. We want to go through the installation process for that. So uh, we'll click Install. And then SiteGround will go through the installation process, which may take a few minutes. All right, and once WordPress was installed, we can head over to WP Admin. And you can see once we do that, we are hit with the WordPress starter plugin. So we can see the counts are up top. We can see exactly what this plugin does. Uh, they know learning WordPress takes time and they wanna give us a jump start. So we'll click Start Now. And the first thing that we're going to do is choose a theme. So if you know the idea behind your website and you know what kind of theme you're looking for, you can search the categories. If you know exactly what theme you want to use, you can search by name and see if it's available. Otherwise, we're just going to go with the categories. So I'm gonna click business. And I'm just going to look quickly through some of the themes that are available to us. Corporate looks like a good theme for me to use, but I can click on one of the themes to get a full overview of everything the theme has to offer. And the point of Good House Media is to just let people know all of the things that Good House Media does. And so this will be perfect for that. I'm going to click Select. And then they are going to recommend Elementor, a free plugin that is a page builder that works really well with this theme. So I'm going to confirm that as well. Perfect makes things a lot easier. Uh, they're also going to, after we choose the theme, make some recommendations on common functionality like a contact form which will use WP forms, Jetpack by Automatic which has just tons of functionality. It looks like they'll also recommend uh, a shop if we want to install WooCommerce and a, the events calendar to easily manage events on our website. We don't need either the shop or the calendar here just yet at least so I'm going to continue on with contact form and Jetpack and then click continue. And then the last thing that they'll do is talk about marketing. So what are things that we want to use for marketing our website? 
Google Analytics is definitely one. We want to optimize for SEO using the Yoast SEO plugin. If we want to grow our subscriber list, we can use Optin Monster and we get 30 days free through SiteGround. That is a big value. I use it for my other sites and I will link it in the description for this video. But if you want to do that, you can. I don't think I'll need to for this website. So with everything chosen, I'm going to click complete and SiteGround will then install everything. The theme that we chose and all of the plugins. All right, and once that's all done, we can go to our dashboard to see everything. Once we're brought to the WordPress dashboard, you'll see that it is a customized experience from the default experience, and it's a big improvement, I think. We can click to view our site, manage our pages, or change the design, manage any of the custom functionality that has been installed through the WordPress starter plugin. They also offer useful tutorials and WordPress events. We can switch to the default at any time, but I'm actually going to keep it like this. I think it looks really good. If we view the front end of our website, you'll see that there's some information that we'll need to fill in. There is default content here, and this looks exactly like the demo, so we will have to go ahead and customize that. The home page and the about page. And then you can see that there is a map, but there is no form yet. So while all of the plugins have been installed to help us easily get started, we do have to do things like configure our functionality. So we're not going to go through and uh, actually manage all of this. That would make the video very long. Perhaps we'll do that in a more long form video. For you, I just wanted to showcase the new WordPress starter plugin that has been released by SiteGround. I think it makes getting up and running with WordPress a lot easier, a lot faster. You don't have to get hit with a dashboard with a lot of confusing links and go, how do I, where's my design, where's my form? You can get all of that information before you even get to the WordPress dashboard so that you can focus on managing content. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching that video. If you liked it, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content. If you want to learn more about web development or WordPress or anything that I talk about on this channel, you can check out the other video that's linked on this screen or you can head over to creatorcourses.com to see what online courses I have to offer. Thanks again so much for watching and until next time, get out there and build something.